Hi friends, in today's video I am going to explain some do's and don'ts uh, when you are in job seekers visa in Germany. When you are in JSV, when you come to Germany, it's, it's absolutely a new land, a new country. So please don't carry your, your, uh, your Heimatland, that is your origin country's thoughts and thought process to this country. You should be very careful because things are very different here or things may be very different here as compared to your Heimatland. That is your country of origin. In this video, I'm going to share few experiences that I had or some of my friends had, which are really important for you to understand before you even interact with Germans around. So friends, when you come on job seekers visa and you apply for jobs, uh, there are a lot of chances that you will get interview calls. Everybody gets it. Along with those interview calls, some companies are even more particular about understanding a candidate. Now, you know what, uh, because of this GDPR things and privacy issues, they are not supposed to check your maybe Facebook posts or maybe some other Instagram or your social media. So they are not supposed to do that at all, at least officially. So what they do is normally they invite you for uh, maybe a lunch together or maybe they can even ask you to come for a picnic together. That is a chance they use to understand the mentality or the overall plan overall mental structure of the candidate now this invitation can be after signing a job contract or even before signing a job contract i'll show you i'll share one experience with me myself i all of a sudden received an email from a company wherein they invited me for a dinner plus the next day they invited for a complete one day workshop with them i was not alone there were more than 20 people from various countries around europe and they all participated. We had some presentations. They, we were given some ta tasks, and we were uh, given some, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, projects also to do within next three hours. Now, in such presentations or in such scenarios, when you are invited for a one-to-one -one talk or maybe interaction round, maybe for a dinner party or picnic, there are certain rules that you must follow deliberately or indirectly. If you make any mistake. Trust me, friends, you are going to lose that potential job suddenly. That is, without any second thought, they will reject you. One biggest thing that you must always take care when you uh, go for such get together dinners or picnics is never ever ask for genders. You might find people who may have a long hair, so they may look like women or a man. But you are never supposed to ask anybody, maybe your colleague or maybe your future colleague or any partner or somebody, whether this guy is a man or a woman, never ever ask such things. There are very, very strict rules regarding this, friends. And I'm telling you, it is so strict that I have seen two candidates who have lost their job opportunities. I mean, they were in the initial rounds of their jobs and they lost only because they asked something related with the gender of somebody uh, near about. Point number two, never ever ask about family background. You are not at all supposed to ask anybody about his or her family, about his or her relations with the family members, where are they, whether they uh, uh, stay together or separate. Please never ever ask such questions. Trust me friends, that guy will be your, your biggest enemy the moment you ask such questions in most cases. So be careful. Number two is never ask about family or such things. Point number three. Point number three talks about religion. Never ask anybody about anybody's religion. Never even talk about this stuff at all. You never know when uh, the next person feels offended and the, that guy or that lady might feel very bad or will uh, generate a very negative impact of you the moment you ask about religions. Now, religion could be anything irrespective of their land, if irrespective of their origin, you are not supposed to ask any person about the religion. Point number four, never ever talk about the political aspects, whether the uh, Russia's war on Ukraine is justifiable or not, whether about Israel or something. Please don't uh, ask about stuff like political issues, wars, battles, blah, 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 blah. Never ever even express your own Meinung. Meinung means your own thoughts about any aspect related to political issues. Don't ever say that this guy has done absolutely wrong and that's why the other guy is doing absolutely right. Please refrain from such things. 
especially when it relates with political issues, wars, battles, any, any and everything going around in the world. Point number, I think it's fifth, always and always be on time. Friends, reaching on time is mandatory like anything. Trust me friends, uh, I have seen a couple of cases wherein the interviewer had simply rejected the interview call for a candidate because the candidate was not able to reach the uh, spot on time and he had a very genuine reason because his last train with which he was supposed to travel was cancelled at the last moment. He also had a proof of it because in the DB app it could be seen that the Zoop felt house but that is absolutely not a ground for any apologies. That guy lost the job. So what you can do? So my suggestion here is friends, whenever you have to reach a spot, an appointment or a termin, please reach there before, well before time. I, I mean, if my appointment is at 11 at Auslander Behode, I make it sure that I reach there by 10 a.m. There is no harm in sitting in front of the Auslander Behode's office in the garden than to lose your appointment and risk your chance of getting your appointment with the Auslander Behode. So these were the few points uh, about which you have to be very careful when you come to Germany. Now, now in this video, I mentioned so many points that you are not supposed to speak about. Then what are the points on which you are supposed to speak out? The best and the most loved topic of Germans is weather. So friends, in case if it is raining, say, oh, what a shown is weather, it's, it's raining. Well, normalizer Germans don't like uh, rainfalls, but for me personally, Personally, I like it when it's raining. I tell them clearly that, guys, I know you guys don't love rains, but for me, I'm absolutely opposite. I love rainy season. When it is hot or when it is summer, everybody loves it, including me myself. So just be free, free about it. Just tell them that, oh, what a beautiful weather. I would like to go and play football. I would like to go and go for swimming or something like that. Go cycling. When it is cold, then again, it's up to you. If you feel like it's bad, you can speak out it's bad. Germans typically don't like cold weather. So you will be supporting their <laughs> thought process. Another topic that you can talk about when you are in a party or a picnic is what are your woken in the plan? That is, what are you planning for the next weekend or what you did in the last weekend? Weekend that is Saturday and Sunday is treated more like a festival year. I mean, people are really serious about weekends. They make real serious plans on the weekends. And they would just love to share their weekend plans with you. Now, again, don't ever ask with whom you are planning to spend your weekend, whether it's family or somebody. Don't ask such things, but just ask them, what are you planning for this weekend or what did you do in the last weekend? This is a very favorite topic, friends. They would love to speak upon this topic and they'll be very close to you if you touch upon such topics. Number three that you can talk about is sports. Germans are very fascinated towards the sports. I mean, they could be that could be any type of it could be an extreme sport, could be even diving from a helicopter. I mean, of course, with parachute or it could be just like going around with cycling or just playing around in football in the garden. Ask them what they love to do. Tell about yourselves also. I like for me personally, I like tish tennis, that is table tennis and many Germans like that. Now, there are many opportunities to have to enjoy these sports around asked upon this topic, they would love to speak to you on these uh, sports thing, thema. Another favorite topic that they love to talk about is your destination, your planned destination in next uh, Urlaub. That is, uh, when it's uh, no normally these guys take a long leave in summers, that is in June or July or in winters also. So you can even talk about this topic that what do you plan to do in next Urlaub? Urlaub means holidays. So most people will say, I would like to go to some warm areas. Some people would also like to go to some uh, warm countries like Spain or maybe Turkey or some South Europe. Just ask them what do they plan to do next uh, summer, that is next Urlaub Tagen or what, uh, where were they in the last uh, holidays? So did they really enjoy? You can take some inspiration from them. Of course, it does not matter if you are really going to follow that route or not, but you can always ask for some inspirations, some some recommendations, uh, which place they love the best, which place they want to visit once again next summer or next Urlaub. These thema, these topics are very lovely topics to start your conversation upon. Now, the last point I would like to speak upon is if you have a very fascinating hobby, let's say if you love to play with IT gadgets, let's say if you love to play with mobiles, you, you do something which is something out of the way, narrate them. Trust me, friends, if you are doing really something out of the way, Germans are very curious and they will 
literally hear to your plans your hobbies very patiently and very calmly and they will be really inspired and trust me friends if you are able to speak up on such extraordinary uh, hobbies or something you will be able to make a very perfect binding with the next guy or the girl so friends these were some topics of do's and don'ts in germany i am sure that you got some hints uh, what to do and what not to do when you are in germany if you have got any comments or any feedback or recommendations that you want to add to this video please post them in youtube comments i'll be more than happy to include them in my next video i wish you all the best bye bye